There's a Zen story about two monks who were walking down into the village and they came across a river. One of the rules for these monks was to never touch a woman. However, there was a woman nearby the river who needed a bit of support and assistance in crossing these rapidly raging waters. So one of the monks, he actually carried her on his back and assisted her across the river. Now, the other monk was kind of upset and angry about this, and he didn't say a word for several hours into their journey. And once the night came and they were about to rest, the other monk who had carried the woman said, Hey, I noticed you're, you seem really angry and frustrated. What's going on? And the monk said, Look, you know we had a rule. We were not allowed to carry a woman. How dare you do that? And the monk responded, I carried that woman for five minutes. You've been carrying this for 12 hours. Now, why do I share this story? Well, sometimes in our life, we have experiences, we have things that occur, and we just carry it for a long time. Similarly, we can learn to let go. If something bothered us for five, 10 minutes, really practicing this habit of just letting it go, letting it be, it's done, it's the past, it's a story, and moving on. Now, I do understand that there can be very traumatic experiences that we may not be able to release immediately, but sometimes it's the minor thing, right? Sometimes it's a person cutting me off on the highway, or sometimes it's someone misspelling my name. Very minor minutiae if you think about it in the grand scheme of things. And I can also have a tendency to just hold on to that for days and weeks. And it's like, wow, what would it look like if I were to just let go of that minutia and just be in the present moment versus holding on to something, holding on to a resentment, anger, frustration for something that had occurred a long time ago. So similar to those monks, I invite you to consider, what am I holding on to? What can I let go of? And I think it's really important to practice this concept of letting go and knowing that change is happening constantly. And the more we're able to let go and be in the present and look forward into the future, the more peaceful we can be, the lighter our hearts will be, and the calmer that we can be, which at the end of the day, that's kind of the point, right? To be peaceful, to be calm, to be content, to be joyous, to be grateful. So I invite you in this moment to just let go of whatever no longer serves you.